Hey team, Chef Eric here and welcome to another episode of the Butcher's Market Steak of the Month Club. Today we've got a really fun cut for you, a Wagyu Petite Sirloin. All right, this is a beauty. And we'll get into uh, the nuances of Wagyu just a little bit and a really fun method, super simple. Uh, this one's tough to find unless you have a butcher market that's really on to the good stuff. So without further ado, let's get into the action. So Wagyu, uh, directly translated, just means W-A, W-A for Japanese, and Gu for cow. So Wagyu means Japanese cow. And they have been genetically bred over the centuries, over the years, to just have an incredible amount of intermuscular fat, that marbling that we look for. Um, so this piece is a part of the sirloin. They say King Henry VIII fell in love with this. One of his cooks brought him a piece of sirloin. He loved it so much, he knighted it and dubbed it sirloin, okay? Uh, is that a real story? It's, it, you heard it here. I mean, <laughs> come on. Um, and look at this, you know, the butcher's market has already trust it for us and one of the benefits of trussing as we cook proteins they begin to denature and turn a little bit and twist the trussing is going to hold this and it's absolutely masterfully done i'd love to have a demo on whoever did this in the shop but it's going to stay even thickness without twisting and we're going to have even cooking okay um, so really simple today i want to make a herb and garlic crust using a little bit of the Butcher's Market House seasoning, and then we're gonna put it on cast iron and sear it up until we get to about 125 degrees internal temperature. Um, so we'll talk about how to do it on an outdoor grill, and I'll show you that, but we'll also talk about how to do it inside your home on a stove top in an oven. Here we go. We're looking for a sear temperature of 450 degrees. So if you're using a grill like this Kamada Joe, uh, we want the dome temperature to read 450 degrees. If you're using a cast iron pan in the house, you're gonna want a medium to high heat. So let's go ahead and get the sear. Notice I've got, ray, I chose a, a piece of cast iron that has the rivets here, so we're gonna get some really neat sear signature marks there, almost grill marks. And that sizzles what we wanna hear. What's happening is the crust is forming. We're locking in those beautiful flavors, enhancing both the flavor profile and the texture of this beautiful sirloin roast. Notice I'm not too aggressive either. If you're doing this inside and, it, and you got a ton of smoke going on, uh, uh, turn that temperature down a little bit. Once we get a good sear all the way around, we're gonna close the dome. So if you're inside, that's the equivalent of getting a sear up top on the range and then putting it into a 450 degree oven. On that fourth and final turn where we're getting the last side, uh, now's where I'm gonna close the dome and essentially use this Kamado style grill, the Kamado Joe, as an oven. So if you're doing this at home, as soon as you turn, and use a pair of tongs, as soon as you turn to that final side, that's when you kick it in the oven. You don't wait for it to finish searing and then put it in. Now's the time to get it in that oven. And again, we're gonna roast at 450 degrees until we're at an internal temperature of 125 degrees. It's a beautiful thing. So it's been 30 minutes, and that is stunning. Internal temperature. We're sitting at about 105 right now. 110. Uh, so we're going to give it five more minutes. I'm going to roll it to another side. Five more minutes and we're going to pull it and let it rest. All right, it's been another five minutes. And we're there, team. Woo! <laughs> uh, so again, you know, we talk about this every single month uh, with these beautiful steak of the month uh, celebrations. We got to let them rest. Okay, that is the most difficult part about uh, the whole steak of the month club, I feel like is just sitting here with this beautiful anticipation. Uh, and I can't wax poetically about that. We just got, we gotta wait. Let's go ahead and cut the butcher twine off that held our roast so nicely. 
and now it's time to slice. Let's go about a quarter inch thick. I like to support the sides a little bit. Oh my gosh. We actually got some smoke ring. That's cool. Just from the dripping. This is super tender. I can feel when the knife hits the crust and then it just glides right through. I mean, I don't know if you're seeing what I'm seeing here, but that is oh, I'm seeing it. stunning. Let's cut one right here in the middle and do the do the center reveal. <laughs> yeah. So the Wagyu Petite Sirloin is something to write home about, okay? And I'm super excited that the Butcher's Market saw it fit to put this as part of the Steak of the Month Club. This is a tough one to find. And I like to, as far as sauces go, you got a little board sauce right there, boom, boom. Let's give it a bite. That's the one. I forgot we put sage in there. And then it just came and it was like, bam! Don't be intimidated by words like Wagyu, okay? These are words to celebrate. Simple things done perfectly win every single time. And look forward to seeing you and hanging out next month for another exciting episode of the Steak of the Month Club. Cheers, team.